This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, let's end the night off. We got Lamar Odom. So he's addressing some fake news out here that he owes 35K in missed payments for a car purchase for his ex. Um, they're facing U.S. bank leasing after they behind on payments on a 2017 Chevy Suburban. Uh, paying $668 per month on the vehicle and hasn't made a payment since February 2020. Owes 35000 <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, that's from last year. Uh, <laughs> All right, so... Uh, the lender has decided to file a suit against Lamar Odom. Wait a minute. Times. That still wouldn't be that amount of money. Right? Right? 700. Uh, even ten, times 10 would be 7,000. No. And he owes 35,000? Oh, they want the whole rest of the vehicle paid for. I get it. All right. So anyways, Lamar Odom says, uh, yeah, no longer responding to these fake allegations. And, you know, it is what it is. They're just trying to. He says this was not his car. It was purchased for his ex. Uh, the courts are doing what they have to do. I mean, you know, it's, it's whatever, you know. You don't want to purchase a uh, car for a girl that you're not married to, right? <laughs> That's a lesson. So this Dame Dash and Jay-Z thing is getting quite confusing. Uh, judge denies Dame and Dash. Claims Jay-Z won't let him sell Rockefeller. But he will let him sell one-third of Reasonable Doubt. Dame Dash claims Jay Z's blocking the sale of Rockefeller stake. Jay Z accuses Jay Z of illicitly transferring away the streaming rights to Reasonable Doubt. There's a lot going on with this, man. Uh, also, a judge didn't allow Dame Dash restraining order to stop a Rockefeller meeting. Uh, he wants to move, attempting to sell the one-third interest. Instead of allowing temporary restraining order, the judge recommended Dame Dash uh, just take him to court if they don't like the outcome of Friday's meeting. Dash uh, reportedly took issue with Jay-Z meeting with the third Rockefeller founder, uh, Kareem Burke, willing to take whatever last-minute action so he could stop it. <laughs> He says, when another when another black man calls another black man a thief just to make him look bad and so that they can devalue the asset that the other man owes just because he won't sell it to him for the low price, I don't think that the culture needs that. I don't think the world needs that. Right? So it's not just the culture. That's just, that's just low down dirty, right? Like, Dame da I, Jay-Z should pay Dame Dash what he wants for it he has the money he says i just think this is disappointing we have to to have a white lawyer calling me a thief on juneteenth okay dude i'm i'm the, the race baiting thing is just crazy i mean dame dash just needs to handle his business with this he'll i'm for dame dash getting his money for this i mean he put in the work he was there from the beginning he believed in jay-z and everything you know it's like as long as it's a reasonable if it, I think they should have it so uh, that there there is a financial person present and you get a reasonable price for the third, right? Like, well, how much money would it generate over twenty years? And then you know, and just sell it because you know what? I don't blame Dame Dash. He wants to get away from all the, the problems and just do his own stuff. You know, so he wants to just get rid of it, reinvest the money on himself. Um, Jay Z, Dame Dash. It's a shame, man. You know, it's a shame it ends up like this, you know, because like they were so powerful together. Uh, Drake reflects on having the first verses with Lil Wayne on the Versus tour. This is before Versus, Drake vs. Lil Wayne tour in threes. Facts. Drake is like King Midas out here, making girls famous, making guys famous. <laughs> now this girl's being posted on uh, Shade Room and everything, and baller alert for Fashion Nova. <laughs> Drake is out here just, you know, 
Make your careers, man. 50 Cent vows to never do a verse. He said, hey, that was fun while we were all stuck inside. Now we're outside. It's over. I agree. <laughs> Spot him, got him. More details come out about his arrest. He was arrested in a hotel room. And he, had a we- he was sleeping with a large weapon right next to him. U.S. Marshals conducted a special operation reference to an arrest to warrant for Harden. Detectives located him in inside room at the AC Hotel, Miami Adventura, on Biscayne Boulevard, around 9.20 p.m. He was laying in bed with a weapon next to him. Anyways, the incident probably apparently started off over the cost of an $80 parking fee at the Collins Avenue garage. Spotham is accused of pointing a gun at the victim before fleeing the scene. So he's charged with... <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. <sighs> uh, Logan Paul vows to knock out Floyd Mayweather the next time they fight, if they fight again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's it, man. Uh, I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Appreciate you so much. Hope you guys have a great day today or a great night tonight. Peace.